endorse same-sex marriages, you know apostle. Oh, no. You baptize in Jesus' name, you know apostle. That's right. Someone said, what? That's right. Make it plain. Did you hear what I just said? That's right. The apostles baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Or Lord Jesus. That's right. It ain't one baptized simply in Jesus' name. No. Because there's more than one Jesus in the Bible. That's right. The many preachers, only ones they saw was bar Jesus. Right. And just as Jesus. Right. They forgot about the Jesus in the Old Testament. That's right. Jacob and Esau. Esau. In the Arabic language, it's pronounced Isa. Yes. Isa in English means Jesus. That's right. And then you got Joshua. In Hebrew, there are no J's in the uh, Hebrew alphabet. So Joshua will be pronounced Hashua. That's right. And Hashua in English is Jesus. That's right. But there's only one Jesus Christ. One Jesus Christ. Huh? That's right. Who is Lord of all. That's right. So the apostles in the scriptures baptized in the name of Jesus Christ or Lord Jesus. So if anybody here that been baptized and just been baptized in Jesus' name, you got it wrong. That's right. Hear me good, I say you got it wrong. Oh, yes. Because I'm going to ask you where in the Bible where anybody was baptized simply in the name Jesus. In Jesus. Uh -huh. I want to make you drive so close to the curb <laughs> and to the scrape your rims. That's right. Huh? And thou hast tried them. I test them out. Which say they are apostles. You know, many say I believe in the apostles' doctrine. All right, we're going to test that stuff out today. Oh, yes. <laughs> we're going to test that stuff out. Good. That's right. All right, sir. And thou hast tried them, which say they are apostles. Thou hast and tested not. them. Amen. That said they are apostles and they're not. And has found them liars. Liars. And has born. And thou has born. And has patience. Patience. And for my name's sake has labored and has not fainted. Yes. Nevertheless. Listen at this. Amen. Nevertheless. I have somewhat against thee. This is God talking. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Seven churches of Asia. Seven locations of one people. That's right. See, God haven't came for his church yet. No. Because he declared he's going to present to himself. For years, I used to hear the preacher say, God coming looking for a church. That's a lie. That's a lie. There ain't no Bible that says that. No. When you look for something, you lose it. That's right. He didn't lose his church. That's right. He didn't drop it off somewhere and say, where is it? I can't find it. That's right. He's going to come back for the same thing he left yet. That's right. He said, upon this rock, I built my church in the gates of hell. Should I prevail against it? Then he said, he's going to present to himself a glorious, glorious church, church. Not having a spot. Not having spot. Any spot or wrinkle or any, or such, any thing. such thing, but that it should be what? Holy. Should be. Yeah, 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 yeah. chapter and verse. The book of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 27. All right, that. Washington, hear this. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 27. This is the kind of church you're coming for. That's right. What is it, son? That he might present it to himself. Present it. Present it. Present it. It's an offering. Go ahead, man. That's right. When you bring an offering, you present it. That's right. That's right. He gonna bring an offering to himself. To himself. Because he know the offering is ready. That's right. He didn't come for the church now because it's not ready. That's right. Some folks say God can come tonight. No, he can't. Oh no. Things in the Bible got to be fulfilled first. That's right. He ain't gonna break the scriptures and come. No. It's coming. Fulfill the scriptures. That's it. Glory to God. Come on, son. That he might present it to himself. It to himself. A glorious church. What kind of church? A glorious church. You see, that shows you the change of the church. That's right. The glorious church. Right now, uh, the church is not glorified. No. We got to put on the glorified body. That's right. Right now, we have the terrestrial. terrestrial. We have to inherit the, ter the celestial. Right. Right now, we're mortal, and we have to inherit immortality. That's right. Amen. And then when that comes to pass, death is swallowed up in victory like it was when he was here. That's right. All right, son. That he might present it to himself a glorious church. What? Not having spot. What? Not having spot. Do you hear that? Do you Amen. have a spot in your church? Mm. Do your church believe in remarriage and divorce? You ain't ready to go back with Jesus no more than a giraffe can tell. Dance. That's right. <laughs> you got women preachers in your church. You're not in God's church. No. Who? None of you. That's right. Everybody that got women preachers, you're not in God's you're church. Not in the church. He said, not a spot. Not having spot. Not having spot. Or when you got a spot, there's a false teaching that does spilt on you and does stain your lifestyle. Go ahead, man. Huh? Go ahead. And like a woman get dressed for wedding. Go ahead, brother. And then all of a sudden she spilled coffee and tea and that nasty yogurt <laughs> all on her clothes. She got to fight, fight, fight to clean that stuff out. That's right. When false teaching, 
false concepts come in your church and you believe it, your life been stained with the ungodly teaching that make your religious belief filthy. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Filthy. Filthy. Dirty. Corrupt. Right. Glory be to God. He says what? Not having spot. Not having spot. Amen. You believe in divorce and remarriage? You got a spot. That's spot. That's spot. That's right. You believe in women preachers? Spot. Spot. Big one. Big one. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. That's right. Pastor up there with two wives? Spot, spot. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. That's right. Come on, son. Some woman in the church that married the pastor, his wife is still living, and she's nothing but a rebound. Oh, yes. She's a spot. He's a spot. That's right. And Bishop is the biggest spot of them all. That's right. The spot church. <laughs> Amen. And I got the spot remover. Oh, yes. Oh, you can't have two wives in your church. I don't have none. No. I didn't die for no church. No. I represent the church that Jesus started. That's right. Some folks, some thousands right me. Oh, you can't do that in your church. You can't do that in my... Uh, listen, don't blame Pastor Jennings. No. Left up to me. I wouldn't care how many wives you had. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, you can have other wives you want. Left up to me. That's right. It ain't up to me. No. I have to give you what Jesus said. What, what he said. You're bound by the law. That's right. As long as you long two as you live. live. That's right. Hey Amen. If he's dead, if he's not dead, you're bound. You're bound. If he's dead, then you're free. That's it. You at liberty to marry whosoever you will only. In the Lord. In the Lord. That's right. Mm. Not having spot. What? Not having spot. Oh, glory to God. Amen. No spot. No spots. No spot. Or wrinkle. When you're, there's a, listen, if there's a wrinkle in your garment, then there's something out of place. Right. It's out of place, so it need pressing. That's right. Amen. So we come along with the heat of the scriptures to press your life right back in place. That's right. Amen. Mm. You men that are down on the down low, you, you women that got uh, married to somebody else's husband, and you men, or uh, you women that got somebody's husband, and you men that are married to about three wives, and you uh, fellows that been ordained and they're not ordained according to the Bible, and just right. doing anything you want to do, that's out of place. That's uh, wrinkle. Wrinkle. So the instrument of scripture have to, uh, you know, there's some irons that got a button, you press steam. <laughs> That's Whoosh. right. Whoosh. Yeah. That's right. Thank God. That's right. <laughs> we, we got some steam here. Oh, yes. Amen. To put some Holy Ghost creases in your life. That's right. So you're going to be lined up with the Bible. That's right. Are you getting what I'm talking? Not having spot. Not having spot. Or wrinkle. Or, wrinkle. or any such thing. But what shall we be? But that it should be holy. Baptist. Holy. Bethes. Holy. Presbyterian. Holy. Lutheran. Holy. Pentecostal. Holy. Apostolic. Holy. Non-denomination. Holy. Don't, don't you dare tell me what you are. If you ain't holy. Holy. I don't want to hear nothing that you have. That's right. Somebody said, I don't use these other titles that other religions have because God don't. Mm-hmm. We're supposed to profess a good profession That's right. before, many before many witnesses. Give me the 19th chapter of Leviticus quick. Right. Let's see what God is. That's right. And then we'll come right back to Revelation. In, Levit- in Leviticus chapter 19, and we're at verse 1. That's what? And the Lord spake unto Moses. Who's saying, talking? The Lord spake. No, Geno Jen is talking. The Lord spake. <laughs> Amen. Oh, no, Geno Jen is talking. The Lord spake. Get me out of it. That's right. Glory to God, I know you would like me to be in it to soften the blow. Soften it. But you got to get me out of it. That's right. Yes, sir. Well, Pastor Jennings, I've been Pentecostal for years, non-denominational, apostolic, Methodist, Lutheran. I don't want to hear none of that. That's Come right. back to Bible. The Lord speaks. Take what you have and compare it to the Bible. That's it. If you're going to brag your Methodist, Catholic, Pentecostal, non-denominational, whatever is the heading. Of right. your religion. Come, on now. Come back to Bible. Go to the Bible and see that God profess to be what you are. That's right. Now you can jump and shout down, speak in tongue if you if you're not too tired. You're not too tired. And if you can get one leg up and kick it around a little. Amen. But when your leg come back down, I'm gonna tell you, come on back down to Bible. That's right. 
What did it say, Sam? And the Lord spake unto All Moses. All of you that are watching around the world, we are broadcasting live tonight. Amen. Here back in Washington, D.C., so I can pin your shoulders down That's with right. Bible here. That's right. All of you that are professing these man made religious, non denominational, five percenters, Muslim, Nation of Islam, and Sunni Muslim men, Shiite Muslim men, Mormons, and Jehovah Witnesses, and Pentecostal, and non denominational. Right. Take that stuff to the Bible. That's right. Anytime you are what God is, you can't be no better than that. Amen. You that claim you're apostolic, see is God apostolic. That's right. And if you say he is, tell me where he said so. That's it. Now I can show you in the Bible what God said he is. And the Lord spake yeah, unto Moses. Yeah, yeah, Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Hear what I'm telling you? That's right. I can go to the Bible where God, God, the makers of heaven and earth, declared what He is. And the Lord spake unto Moses. Oh, it's God. Hallelujah. And the Lord spake unto Moses. Speak unto Moses, saying, "Speak unto all the congregation speak of the children of Israel, all the congregation of the children of Israel, of the children of Israel, and say unto them, and tell the children of Israel, ye shall be holy. Ye shall be Pentecostal. Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be apostolic. Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be Lutheran. Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be non-denominational. Ye shall be holy. Now, how in the world does stuff come along today? Today. You know, it offends people. Mm -hmm. They say, well, apostolic and holiness is the no. same thing. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, no. Oh, no. Because if it was the same thing, why isn't God professing both of them? That's right. Huh? That's right. Like God professed he's Jehovah mm -hmm. and God professed to be the rock. That's right. Uh -huh. It's the same thing. Right. God professed to be I am that I am. Uh -huh. And God professed to be Lord God Almighty. That's right. That's right. The same thing. God professed, I'm Alpha. Amen. Then God professed, I'm Omega. Right. And God professed, I'm the beginning. Amen. And God professed, I'm the ending. That's right. Say of the Lord. That's right. Now, if it don't matter what you are, right. why is in God mm -hmm. all of this stuff that you have in Washington? Amen. And surrounding areas. That's right. Every bishop, every church organization got to come back way of the cross and way behind the cross, way <laughs> on the side of the cross and church of God in Christ and church of God on ice and the blue church, the brown church and amen, the church upstairs, the church around the corner. Everybody got to pull up to the Bible. That's right. Get out of your car. That's right. And park right here. That's it. Hey! Ye shall be holy. What did the Lord say? Ye shall be holy. Come on back. Come on amen. Back. Come on back. You might as well get ready to come on back to Bible. That's right. If you're not going to come back to Bible, don't you go to another church tonight. That's right. Because you're proven to be an unbeliever. That's right. What the word of God says here. Ye shall be holy. Why? For I, the Lord, your God, am holy. Who? I, the Lord, your God, am holy. Amen. That's plain. That's a good enough reason for me. Oh, yes. If it's not a good enough reason for you, then uh, I don't know what else I can do for you. <laughs> That's right. Uh -huh. That's right. All right, go back to Revelation quick, son. Back in Revelation chapter 2, and now we're at verse 4. All right, read fast. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee. Now, God is talking to one of the seven churches in Asia. I have That's somewhat just... things against you. Because thou hast left thy first love. Now, God is our first love. That's right. And this is the problem of the people today. That's right. With God's help, I'm laboring and trying vigorously. Oh, yes. The brand, I know everybody's not going to come back. They're not because they're stubborn. That's right. And most church people are traditionalists. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. They're so used to doing things a particular way. A particular way. That's right. That's right. Like a good example. Most men are ordained in churches. They are catechized by a board of bishops, they take a preacher's exam, right. and then they have a trial sermon, then they get ordained. That's right. Never mind whether you got the Holy Ghost or not. Never mind whether you baptize in the name of Jesus Christ. Never mind whether you got one wife or not. That's right. Ne never mind whether you believe in being holy. None of that is on the table. No. It's None. men's tradition. That's right. That they have chosen above God's tradition. Why wilt not thy disciples according to the tradition? Did you hear this? In the book of St. Mark, chapter 7 and verse 5. Look at what they asked Jesus. Why wilt not thy Why disciples walk not your followers according, according to, the tradition to the tradition of the elders. Of the elders. But eat bread with unwashing hands. You see, they brought Jesus their tradition. That's right. And then Jesus brought them 
Holy Ghost tradition. He answered and said unto Jesus them. Jesus answered and said to them. Well hath his eyes prophesied of well you. Well have Isaiah prophesied, prophesied of you hypocrites. Of you hypocrites. As it is written. As it is written. This people honoreth me with their lips. They talk about Jesus a much a mouth service. But their heart. But what? Their heart. Their heart. Is far from me. Tell us what good is it. How be it in vain. In vain. Do they worship me. In vain. In vain. In Do they worship me? Te How they teach William? Teaching for doctrines. What? Teaching for doctrines. What they say? Teaching for doctrines. They teach for doctrines. The commandments of men. Holy. Amen. Amen. That's it. Make it right. That's it. Commandments of men. Commandments of men. And doctrine are two different things. That's right. Doctrine is written. Right. Commandments of men not written, fluctuate, change right. over a period of time. That's right. Doctrine never change. Oh no. Never change. Oh no. So this is what's supposed to govern God's church. That's right. Is the doctrine of God. That's right. The doctrine of godliness. That's right. Supposed to govern God's church. That's right. From pulpit to the door. <laughs> Amen. The doctrine of godliness disciplines the church. Oh yes. The doctrine of godliness teaches the church. That's right. The doctrine of godliness uh, opens up things for the church. That's right. If you don't have the doctrine of godliness like it is written in uh, 1, Timothy 1 Timothy chapter, chapter, chapter 6, 6, then you're not following what the word of God says. Go back to Revelation, son. Back in Revelation. My time is getting away here. Back in Revelation chapter 2 and verse 4. Follow me. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee. What is it? Because thou hast left thy first love. You left your first love. Remember therefore. Uh oh Amen. Remember that fall. From whence thou art fall. Where you fell. And repent. Get right. That's it. Repent. The churches today have fell away. Oh yes. From the teaching of Jesus. Fell away now. Men trying to wish up God with plaits in their hair. And, uh -oh. Amen. Amen. Women want to wear mini skirts and hot pants. And yeah. Finger rings, jewelry, necklaces everywhere. And, That's right. Two in the Godhead, three in the Godhead, four in the Godhead. That's right. We got over 50 churches in South India and over 100 in East India. In India, biggest religion is Hinduism. Yeah. And the second largest is uh, Islam. Yes. And in the country of India have over three million gods. My Lord, my Lord. Now listen, it's hard to obey with this one. <laughs> That's right. It's really difficult to obey this one. That's right. Like you're going to give me three million? Three million. Are you listening? Amen. Jesus, who is God, declared in Revelation. Remember, therefore. Remember, therefore. From whence thou art fallen. Look at where you fell from. And repent. Look how the things in church have changed and you changed right with it. That's right. You let your churches change you for the worse. For the worse. Not for the better. Amen. Some things you believe, you know it's wrong. Oh, yes. Because you was taught better. That's right. But because you went along with the crowd, you didn't want to be left out. <laughs> Amen. That's right. Why you think the churches now are in the condition they're in. The bishops are sold out. Yes, That's they right. sold out on God. They don't want God's way no. no more. The celebrities are writing us. The preachers are writing. One man said, you preach hell too much for oh, me. No. I don't preach it enough. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. Thank God I can never preach it enough. No. The fear of God have left the world. That's right. Glory to God. Glory to God. When the world fear God again. Again. Like they did in the days of old. That's right. They come on back yes, they and would. go by the plumb line. That's right. Thank you, God. When you got the plumb line, you're following the straight path. Oh, yes. What do you say here? Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen. Look at where you fell. And repent. Look at where your church is now. Amen. Look at the stuff they didn't used to have. Oh, yes. When you was younger. Oh, yes. Look how strict some of the churches was. Mm -hmm. Now, churches are dancing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They got uh, disco lights in the churches. That's right. Preachers don't want it easy and say with the women in their wrong wearing pants. They just wear pants. They do wear pants and shorts and all that stuff. The choir rehearsal. Uh -huh. Choir rehearsal. Yeah. Had come to church half naked. That's right. Eyeline, shadow, fake eyelashes. Got paintbrush for eyelashes. Oh, yes. Got raccoon hair for wigs. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Huh? Remember, therefore. Remember, therefore. From which thou art fallen. You have fell from the established law that God gave Adam in the beginning. That's right. 
before sin came in, Adam was upright. Oh, yes. When Adam, blessed God, ate of the fruit and disobeyed God and his eyes came open, everything fell and man been falling ever since. That's right. And the churches are not doing nothing oh, to no. pick man back up. No, no. The purpose of the church is to pick men and women up and put you on a straight path. That's right. Am I right, I said? Remember, therefore. Don't tell me what I want to hear. Go ahead. Tell me what I need to hear. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Remember therefore. Remember therefore. From which thou art fallen. Where you fell and, from. And repent. And repent. And do the first works. You see, God wants you to do your works over. Oh, yes. Repent. Repent. Amen. Stop the, let the churches uh, get you caught up because they change their beliefs and want to do like everybody else for the sole purpose of getting members. That's right. That's why people are so shocked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everywhere we go, when they see hundreds and hundreds of people and they see how strict we are, and they say, you mean to tell me all them thousands of people followed that strict man? That's right. We didn't have to tweak no scripture. No, you didn't. We didn't have to duke nobody. That's right. We didn't have to steal no money. That's right. We didn't have to placate the people. (laughs) Amen. We didn't have to compromise the Bible. No. We stood flat footed on the principles of God. That's right. And Jesus said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I draw all men unto me. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Amen. I cannot be bought. No. By nobody. Amen. Can't offer me nothing. That's wonderful. Brother. I've been offering millions of dollars. I had no problem to turning that down. That's right. So I said, What? Yes, I turned that down. No problem. Oh, yes. Men have offered me churches. I told them, I don't want your church. God made me a builder. That's I right. had a bishop in Cambridge, Maryland, offer me his four churches. Old bishop. I knew him before I was preaching. If I would just compromise, remarriage and divorce. He said, God spoke to me, Pastor Jennings. He said, I know you'll stand, but God spoke to me and uh, told me to marry, marry my secretary. I said, really? <laughs> Amen. I said, hey, 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 Bishop. Is your, is your wife still living? He said, yes, but she's still, she's still living, but she's incapacitated. I said, I said, oh, so the Lord spoke to you after she got ill. After she got ill. <laughs> You mean to tell me you offered me mortar, brick, and a few electric wires to sell out on the Bible? That's right. I wouldn't care if you offered me the world. I'm going to stick to what God said. That's right. Yeah. Give me the book of Numbers. In the book of Numbers, chapter 22. Uh, the reason why I'm like this, God made the servant bail him like Bellum. this. That's right. And he gave me the same spirit. In bu- Isn't that this in the book of Numbers, chapter 22? Numbers, chapter 22, we'll start at verse 16. All right, son. And they came to Balaam and said they to him. They came to Balaam and said to him. Thus saith Balak the son of Zippor. Balak the son of Beor. Of Zippor. Of Zippor. Let nothing, I pray thee, hinder thee from coming unto me. Yes. For I will promote thee unto very great honor. Some of these men can't pass up honor. That's right. I give you a church if you just compromise. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Oh, yeah, I thank the church, man. But you're preaching against divorce. Oh, don't worry about that. Don't I won't disappoint you. That's right. That's right. My brother got his second wife. Now he go to church. He going to be watching. That's all right. I make sure your brother give me a good report. <laughs> you fifty dollars, fifty thousand a year. Oh yeah. You know I ain't gonna touch divorce now. <laughs> That's right. I wouldn't care if Donald Dunk was sitting here. <laughs> I pound against remarriage and divorce. Yes, you would. If you wrote me a check that I know would bounce. <laughs> That's right. For a billion dollars. That's right. You preachers that are watching have sold out on God. You have sold out That's right. years ago. That's right. Anytime you can be bought or offered money or offered anything. Anything. To compromise the Bible. Use a pulpit whore. That's right. Only a whore can be bought. That's right. And use a pulpit, Cadillac driving, manicured, nail, backward collar prostitute in the pulpit. That's right. Because God, preacher won't Hallelujah. sell out for nothing. That's right. Go ahead, man. Goes for if I got any preachers here. Go ahead, brother. If any one of you sold out at all, you Amen. ain't nothing but a pulpit hooker. That's right. Am I right, I said? Amen. Did you hear what I'm saying, Washington? Preaching. If there's any preachers in the house tonight, 
and you sold that on God to compromise that Bible, use a pulpit hoe. Which did sell himself. I'm going to make it so plain you got to get it. That's right. Use a pulpit hoe. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Preach it, man. I don't care if your husband, he's a prostitute. He's a prostitute. You're married to a pulpit prostitute. That's right. That's right. Preach it. Make it plain. Preach it. A real man of God will stand on that Bible regardless of who it is. Go ahead. Go ahead. Won't change. That's right. Go ahead. That's why many find now we're preaching offensive. Listen, when you're not getting paid and you wasn't voted preaching, in, man. voted in, and your wife, the bed don't dictate what you preach or what you don't preach, right. you can preach freely. That's right. No, man, I can preach freely. Oh, yes. Thank God the Bible said, let me freely speak up Freely you. speak. Amen. Yeah, when you preach the word of God, it's like being in the ring, you know. That's right. Hey, Amen. You can, you can freely just go at it. You can freely just, you can hit it from all angles. Huh? Go, go ahead. I hit you from all angles with the Bible. That's right. Just got to do it. That's right. Are you getting what I'm talking for I will promote thee. That's the kind of preaching, especially you men need. Preach it, brother. You men, many of you have lost your spine. Go ahead. And these old weak, watered down, no good church bum. That's right. Have stole your manhood. That's right. Now you go to church acting like a woman. Oh, yes. You want to wear a man bun like a woman. Like a woman. You want to wear tight pants like a woman. That's right. And then you're supposed to be some deacon or some elder and you're not even fit. That's right. To be a man? That's right. These men need some Holy Ghost structure. Go ahead, brother. And nobody can give you structure like God can. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, brother. We have been spoiled by religion for years. For years. And that's why when we come along, that's why a lot of folk write us, were you ever in the military? <laughs> were you ever in the Marine Corps? Were you ever a drill sergeant? No, no. but I am now. That's right. <laughs> I'm in God's army. That's right. He said in due hearts. That's right. As a good soldier. As a good soldier. I mean, I believe in ground warfare. <laughs> that's right. Huh? That's right. We shoot you from the ground and drop it from the air. Amen. Come on, son. For I will promote thee unto very great honor. I will honor. promote thee to great honor. And I will do whatsoever thou sayest unto me. I will me. do whatever you say. Come therefore, I pray thee, curse me this people. Real quick. And Balaam answered and said unto the servants of Balak. What? If Balak would give me his house. Balak wanted to give Balaam honor. Honor. Like people today like to give preachers honor. Uh, that's if right. you would just compromise. That's right. And 99.9 .9 of these pulpit bums <laughs> will take the honor oh, yeah. over the Bible. That's true. That's true. Hear this. If Balak would give me his house. If Balak Amen. would give me his house. Full of silver and full gold. Full of silver and gold. Oh, it be to God. Amen. Of silver and gold. And gold. I cannot. I Cannot go beyond the word beyond of the Lord my God. God's word to do less, to do less or more, or do more. That's right. Neither will I. That's right. Amen. Amen.